We are learning more tonight about public pools across Western New York. Now, earlier today, we told you that the city of Buffalo will not open their outdoor pools this summer. Now we are also learning that other towns across the region are also closing their pools. Twin your sides, Liz Lewin is joining us now in studio to tell us why. Liz. I just got two words for you. Hmm? Workforce shortage. That's right. Wow. Well, Scott and Mariels, we've seen the impact that COVID-19 has had on staffing across many industries, and now the lifeguard shortage is hitting right here at home. But that said, there is some good news here as it pertains to finding ways to stay cool this summer. You'll just have to head indoors. We're going to uh, close uh, all of the outdoor pools because of a shortage of lifeguards. A lack of lifeguards is being felt across western New York and across the country. During a press conference on Tuesday, Mayor Byron Brown said the city knew staffing would be an issue, which is why they started recruitment back in January. In addition to early recruiting, not even increasing salaries or offering paid training could solve their problem. We had some very highly publicized uh, training sessions uh, after January. Uh, where we were feeling good that we might reach the number of lifeguards needed. Uh, the number that we need to open all of our pools is about 80, uh, and right now we're at about 20, uh, and that's what we're seeing uh, all over the country. Andrew Rabb, the Deputy Commissioner of Parks and Recreation, says seasonal employment is also a challenge. The outdoor pools are larger and require more staff than the indoor pools in order to open and to have that rotation and to consistently open day in and day out. The good news, however, is that the city does have enough lifeguards to keep indoor pools, including Casanova Pool and Lovejoy Pool, open seven days a week, now with extended hours, which will help to fill the void. Splash pads are also open around the city. All of the splash pads, except for Allison Splash Pad, which we're is repairing by the end of this week, um, uh, are available and open and have been open since Memorial Day weekend and will continue to be open seven days a week through the end. And Buffalo is not alone. Pools in West Seneca will also be closed this summer due to the lifeguard shortage. Lifeguard courses are timely. They are uh, exorbitantly expensive. Uh, to ask a teenager to front several hundred thousand dollars to secure a job that pays slightly above minimum wage. Uh, like Buffalo, we tried uh, to increase uh, lifeguard pay. Uh, we provided signing bonuses and retention bonuses. Well, Mayor Brown says given the challenges the city already has with the pools, the city has started recruiting lifeguards for next summer. The hope is they won't be running into this problem come 2023. Reporting here in studio, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.